it's a wonderful compliment when people come to you and they and say, oh, how did you get the flowers into the glass? I love the idea of botanical accuracy, but as I've grown with the work, I don't think of the work as botanically accurate as much as botanically credible. Craft is hard, you know, they have a hard time. You never know how it comes out. When fuel comes out of the furnace, you never know what comes out. It's always a mystery. It never looks the same, especially with ceramics and glass. It never looks the same. I use glass because I was trained in the uh, in vocational school to uh, make scientific glass instruments and then worked in industry, worked in the uh, factory environment. When I was in the factory, I was totally bored out of my mind. And uh, I used to experiment and play. And I looked at the, uh, the floral paperweights from France and uh, was absolutely amazed. And, and I responded to the beauty of this work. And I thought it would be the greatest thing that if I could ever do work with so, so much beauty, that would be a wonderful uh, experience. That would be a, a noble cause. See, we learn certain things from these people that really know the craft very well, see? And then you develop to as far as you can possibly go, see? And maybe it's possible now because we have a better technology. See, they were very, very primitive, the people glad, like piece of wood, you know, they had to get the fire here, you couldn't control it. It's very important for me to have mastered the craft, but also to be creative within the parameters of my material. He has to develop this very high tech. This is a very complicated thing because you have to have technology and art at the same time. For me, there's a repetitive quality to this process, and at times it's very boring. So you, as an artist craftsperson, or as a craftsperson, you have to come to terms with the parameters of this process. And I've worked past the boredom by making this boredom my mantra. I kiddingly tell my wife it's more important for me to be walking in the woods enjoying the flowers than it is to be working in the studio. The work really begins uh, in the fields where I can uh, absorb the beauty of nature and then go back to the studio and then translate that in glass. My dream is to share personal feelings about flowers to people and hopefully if I could make people more sensitive to nature, that would be a nice success. I think there is more energy under the earth, or equal amount of energy, life energy, un under the earth as there is above. The fact that we don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. So when I, how do I interpret this unseen energy under the earth? For me, I interpret it with detail, and I put human forms in there as, uh, representative of spirits. It's, it's about a life energy that we don't see. When I pick up a piece of glass, this glass has the memory of the best work from the past. And with skill, you can bring it out of the glass. Laborare est orare. To labor is to pray. A poem by Paul Joseph Stankard. Labor's mystic feeling seeks boundaries as risk envelops beauty in tension. Skill becomes material's memory. Grace gives desire expression. There are days when I go into my studio in the morning and I look at the torch and think, what am I going to do today? I, at times, I don't have the vaguest idea of what I'm going to do. The process became tighter and tighter, and I felt that I hit an invisible wall. And at that wall, my progress, my creative energy, I felt was stifled. 
So about four or five years ago, I started writing poetry paying homage to wildflowers. And this burst of creative enthusiasm came out of me. So now the poetry has freed me up. I'm able to not only articulate feelings in glass, but also with words. And they work together. For me, there are times when I'm manipulating the glass that I know that I'm attentive and I'm working at the edge. I'm discovering new illusions. The material, at times, seems to have a life of its own. This is a very, very precious object. It's very beautiful. It's very elegant. It's very clean. You know, I mean, it has a, this sort of purity about it. When I look at a flower, I see, uh, I see beauty, and I feel that God gave as much attention to the flower and that a flower is every bit as complex as human beings.